Hi and welcome to the Shoreline tutorial on using training.gov.au to find a training package and qualification that meets your industry needs. So the first thing that you'll need to do is come to this website here, training.gov.au. Once you have done that, this is the screen that you will be welcomed with. If you scroll down, you will find two search options. This search option to the left will take you to an organisation or training company. So you could put in details like Shoreline Learning, press search and our RTO details would come up. If you did go to the right, you would see the nationally recognised training search option. Now what I'm going to do now is just take you straight through to search. So before we put anything in, it will give you an advanced search option. Now to find a training package and qualification that meets your industry need as a part of your TAE assessment process, the first thing that you need to do is untick any superseded data. So we only want to see current information, we don't want to see anything else. The next thing that we're going to untick is all and then we are going to tick training packages. So the only thing that you want ticked in this entire list is training packages. Still, we're not going to put anything in the search bar up here, and we're just going to press search. Now, this will take you to all the current training packages under the VET system as of right now. So, at the moment, um, there are 69 results, which means there are 69 training packages, and it, then it goes on to list all of these training packages. So, on the front page here, some of the training packages that we've got are the Aero Skills Training Package. Agriculture, Horticulture and Conservation and Land Management Training Package, uh, all the way down to Automotive Manufacturing, Beauty Training Package, Business Services, Community Services, and it does go on for five pages. So what you need to do now is have a look through all of these training packages and see which meet your industry. So I've gone on to page two and we've got Food Processing, Entertainment. Now every industry that exists um, in Australia does have a training package that meets its key core requirements. So for today's example I'm going to use the business services training package. So that's on page one, um, I guess three quarters of the way down. And then all I had to do is click on that left hand side that said BSB07. So BSB07 is the code for the training package and business services training package is the name. Now as we scroll down it tells you all of the release history dates, so when it was last updated and for this one at the moment the last release date was the 18th of March 2013. Now as we keep scrolling down it will give us all the qualifications within that course. So from Cert 1 all the way up to, uh, this one goes up to the Advanced Diploma. Now for your TAE assessment, I would suggest that it's best that you choose a Certificate 3 or Certificate 4 qualification only, only because it will make your assessment process a lot easier. So for this example, I'm going to choose the Certificate 3 in Business. So again, we just click on the blue link and it will take you to the details of your Cert 3 in Business. Now to download the content, we just scroll down to content and decide whether we want to see it in Word doc form or PDF. So in this case I'm going to choose PDF. And this is the qualification rules for the Certificate 3 in Business. So as you have a look at these qualification rules it will give you a whole heap of information and it's really important that you become familiar with the layout and content of these. We will go through it in some of your units as you go through the TAE. Now as we go past employability skills down to packaging rules it tells you how many units of competency are in that qualification and what the key requirements are. So for this one it's one core unit plus 11 elective units. It tells you where you can get those elective units from and then there's a list of all the units around. So for this one I'm going to choose a couple of units. Um, I might do deliver and monitor a service to customers um, and work effectively with diversity. So they're just the first two units there. Now to find these details uh, for these units, you just go through the same process that we did before. So what I'll do is I'll open up another page of training.gov.au 
come all the way down to nationally recognised training. Now the first unit that we want is deliver and monitor a service to customers. I've just copied that over and I'm going to paste it into the search bar here. Oh, I think I may have put too much information in. Let's try that again. I might just put the code in without the title. There you go, that's better. So code, not title. It says that it's current. I'll click on the link again. And I'll scroll down to bring up this one in PDF as well. So this looks a lot like the course outline. If you remember on the front page of the course, it gives you that same kind of blue screen with the qualification on it. Same deal with this, it just has the unit of competency on it. So once you've found two units that you like from a qualification that you think is applicable, gather them together and provide a copy to your trainer assessor and that way we can start to plan towards all of your assessment. I hope that helped in the startup of your TAE. Make sure that you do read the Back to Basics program and any other information that Shoreline Learning and Development provide you as the start of your course. And uh, we wish you the best of luck.